Backing up data is often overlooked, and with Paragon Drive Backup Express, it's simple and easy. Download the program, click Run to install it, and follow the prompts. Click Next. Accept the terms in the license agreement. Again, click Next. Now, for the product key and serial number, you'll need to click on Get Free Serial. This will open a web page. You need to enter your first name, last name, email, country and language. Then click Submit. The details will be sent to your email. Now, once you've got the email, you need to copy the product key and use Control and V to paste it in. You cannot right click and paste and the same with the serial number. Enter your username and organization and you can use it for anyone or for only you. Follow the installation instructions, just click next and let it install. Now once it's installed you'll be prompted to reboot. Click yes because this is necessary to activate the program. So I will reboot and come back to this. When you come back, open up my computer Click on the drive you wish to back up, select properties, and then click on tools. Under error checking, check both boxes and click start. If you're prompted to reboot, do so. This will fix any file system errors and recover bad sectors so they're not carried over on the copy. It's all carried over clean. So I've already done this, so I'll come out of here. Now, on the main user interface, click on Build Recovery Media. Now here, you get a wizard that helps you through. Click Next. And you can either create a media builder to flash memory or CD, DVD. I'm using CD, DVD, typical. Select your drive. If you use the emulator, it creates an ISO image to the Paragon folder. And that's what this is doing now. And that can be burnt to CD or flash drive at another time. Click finish. Now the next thing you want to do is to click on backup disk or partition. Again, you get a wizard to guide you through. Click Next. Select the drive you wish to back up. Click Next again. Then select your destination. Now this could be another partition or an external drive which is preferable. Now I've created a folder ready to do this. So that's the one I will select. Click Next. And the program starts. It will tell you the information of the size, the time remaining, time elapsed, written so far and so on. And I will stop this backup because I've already created one. But just let the program run and it will create a complete backup. That includes all your patches, programs, user settings, the lot. When it's finished you need to check the archive integrity. So again you follow the wizard and you need to select your archive. So I will go back to the drive I created the archive on, select the folder and the, set, the archive setting, click next and allow it to verify. Now the time this takes depends on how much information, how much data you have on your drive. When it's finished it will show you that there are no integrity errors. If there are, there's been a problem, then you need to start it again. Click Finish. And really that's about it. It's simple and straightforward. It's an easy program to use. And you don't have to search for drivers, updates or anything else. You just restore the whole lot by either inserting the USB flash drive or the CD, boot from there and follow the wizard through and select the source that you wrote to 
which in this case was on the O drive. Select the ARC, which is the archive. Click Next, and just let it restore you the whole of your system. All of your updates will be there, all of your program files, it will be exactly as it was copied over. If you want any more information, check my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.